Hangman Page came out, and Shivani says these fans want to see you in Omega. And Page said, I always wanted to be the AW champion. I came close. I failed. But you know what? The Dark Order is right. I still do want to be the champion. And so I would like to challenge, before we can get any further, Don Callis comes out, the Elite comes out, the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, and they're running down Hangman Page. Matt Jackson gets in the ring. And uh, Matt Jackson, by the way, who uh, did, in fact, suffer a stinger, he's trash-talking Hangman Page, and Hangman Page punches him and he takes a bump. He's just a nick in for that one. I was thinking the same thing, but you know what? This is the the reality is is that when it comes to that segment between Matt and Nick, Matt's the better promo for that segment. So he was, and you know, it's one bump, but yeah, he probably could have used a week without that bump. But you know. so Mega comes in and he's going to jump Page from behind, but the Dark Order runs down to make the save again. And uh, then we had another weird faux pas. Page says, "I'm not leaving without a match tonight." And Omega says, all right, but here's what we're going to do. A five-on-five elimination match. Your guys at Dark Order and the Elite, it's going to be elimination. And when I win this match, when we win this match, actually what Paige says first is when he wins the match, he's going to get his title shot and the Dark Order are going to get a title shot. And then uh, title shot. Tag yeah, title against, shot. Against the Young Bucks. And then uh, Omega says, fine, but uh, the stipulation on our end is... That if, when you guys lose that match, no one's getting a title shot. So Hangman will not be able to challenge Kenny Omega for the title. And so the Dark Order doesn't like this idea, but uh, Hangman Page says, you're on. And then there's no match tonight. So nope. And no no match next week either. No, nah, it'll be down the road at some point. Yeah, it will be. So he did leave without a fight tonight. It will be, oh, and those those fans must have, because they were just, oh, my God, we're getting this match. And then they didn't get the match. But, um, yeah, the, I thought Kenny Omega was tremendous in in the promo. I mean, when people say that he's not a good promo, it's like, boy, um, they didn't watch tonight because he was, he him and Paige were both great. Like, when this segment was over, I just thought that that's like, like, like you know, It already was a pay-per-view main event, but like I'm watching this and it's like, oh my God, they're going to sell so many tickets, except there's no more tickets left to sell for that show. But but that was, when that thing was over, it's like, that's what every pay-per-view main event should feel like when, you know, when you're done with the big angle, where you're just like, you want to see this match. Um, I mean, they they, they hit it. They hit it right on the, they nailed it, but... uh, you know, so they've got to keep the thing going till September 5th, it looks like. I mean, they were going so hard, I almost thought that they would do... Because now, if that's the case, like Christian and all these other guys, Eddie Kingston, that have all been built up for this thing, it's like you can't even really do it now until um, September 5th. And then, if they are going to do it, Omega has to win... And I'm not sure Omega beating Page is the right thing. I mean, it's it's it becomes they built up all these matches, and then it's like, are they never going to do them? That's that's kind of I don't like that when you build up matches and you don't do them. So it's going to be interesting how this all, um, how this all goes down. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.